Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That just occurred just backstage, and here we go. Pain versus Jin Danger, no DQ, Extreme Rules. And the winner will move on into the OGW tournament. Oh my god. Well, here comes out Jin Danger. Oh, he's taking this one. There's his pyro. Here he comes. And coming out now from Lincoln, Nebraska, weighing tonight 251 pounds, Jin Danger. And now last week, ladies and gentlemen, I said Jin Danger had some Japan history. He wrestled in Japan. This kid does not give up. He's been wrestling in Japan for six years, and we signed him a contract, actually. So he's actually been wrestling for six years. And well, here's his opponent. And coming out now, from Washington, D.C., weighing in tonight 269 pounds. Pain! And here comes out Pain, the BWE best wrestler ever. And well, last week, he beat. Uh, actually, beat Wool with the P5. But can he beat Jin Danger with that remover, the P5? Else there's no DQ. I'm pretty sure neither one of these men are going to hold back. And well, this match is going to be vicious. And like what I said before, Jin Danger, very unstable. Don't let him get control. He's been wrestling for at least six years. And for pain, I have no clue. Jin Danger has been wrestling in Japan. He's been insane in these Japan death matches. I don't know much actually about Pain, uh, but you can follow him on Twitter at True Pain. And here we go, this one-on-one -on -one match. Now P Pain was actually told to put that kendo stick away because what are these two men just actually staring at each other? And now they're going face to face. And he slits his throat to Jin Danger. And Jin Danger is just taunting. And now these two men face to face. They're talking. Only if I knew what they were saying. And he slits his throat again. And baby, they're just bad off. Oh, and a double hand shot by Din Jin, Din Jin Danger. I'm just going to call him Danger. And Pain with a clothesline. And they lock up now. These two Goliaths. We actually have like, three Goliaths here in this company. Uh, Mike Slater, Payne, and Jin Danger. Oh, well, and Wolf, too, if you want to count him. And he tosses him in the rope and what's, uh, in the corner. And the nice capture suplex by Jin Danger. Or Jin, for now. He throws Payne over the top rope. No problem, too. He goes over the top rope. And he dives down with the double axe handle. And he has him now in the abdominal stretch. But Payne says no. Has him and reverses. Flips him over. Oh my god. A throwback into the steps. And he hits him with the steps. What's he doing? And now you guys are really getting close to me. Fuck off. I'm just, oh, Payne now just throws the steps onto Jin Danger. Jin Danger now. What's he looking for? Pain just bad mouthing. He runs in and oh, he gets hit in the face with the steps. Hey, Jin, screw off! Oh my God, are you serious? Jay Jones is in a match later. Let him break the announcer table like always. No, and what is Jin Danger looking to do? Don't tell me he's coming over here to break my announcer table. Oh God bless. Thank you, Pain. Oh, and a nice fist drop by Payne. At least Payne has common sense not to break my damn announcing table. And wait, wait, wait! Oh my god! I'm sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Payne breaks the announcer tape. Ah, fuck! Don't throw him into me! Fucking wrestling.
I don't know, but something about these no DQ matches gets these wrestlers insane, and they love to break my announcer table most of the time. Oh, the power bomb and Jin Danger does a face buster onto the ring bell, and then a very nice tape down remover and Jin Danger with a big axe handle. Let's go, Jin. I'm going for Jin right now. And Jin said earlier, doesn't matter if it's a no DQ match, I'll still beat you. And Payne has to find for an ODQ? And a kick out by Payne. Well, they finally said yeah, so we can get Payne out of his office, man. That guy's creepy as shit. Just a hit. Oh, Payne reverses. And a DDT onto the concrete. That might just crack his skull. And he slits his throat. And he goes for the pin. This is maybe it. One. Only a one? Maybe that might have been a two, but the ref didn't count it. It didn't show up on the screen. It's an emotion counter that we have here at the. Oh, and Payne just did a shoulder block into the steps, making Jin fall down. And what is he looking for here? A jack. No oh, there's a power bomb! And Jin just lands on the edge of the steps. And Payne picks the steps up. What's he looking for? Throws them down right near me. And a neck breaker, that pulling neck breaker. I guess Jin just wants to get the steps out of the way. I mean, uh, Payne just wants to get those steps out of the way. And Payne now, what the hell is he doing? J Payne pulls out the ladder and hits the ref with it. He's just trying to get the uh, swing of the ladder. <laughs> and Payne, what's he looking for? Payne just freaking out. Oh, nice remover by Payne. I don't know, one of those front flips, and what is he looking for here on the top? And what the hell? Oh my god, a shooting! I don't know what the hell that was. It looked like a shooting star press from the camera angle. One, two, and no! Jin Danger just kicks out! Was that one of Payne's finishers? And a nice belly to back suplex, and what is the ref doing? And Jin takes the ladder off the ref. I think the ref was putting it away. So these wrestlers wouldn't break each other. Uh, Payne was climbing that ladder and Jin said no and he pushes him down. And punches him. Punches, throws him now. Into the... Oh, uh, I know what he's going for. He's going for the clothesline. He's going for a clothesline that he normally does into the barricade, but he just got reversed with the swing out neck breaker. And now Payne, what's he looking for? Oh, and Jin Danger just got back up and he does a front flip over the top rope and a nice pull in neck breaker. And no way, Payne's looking for that move again. Slitting his throat and Jin Danger though getting right back up when he does that. And Payne getting on top of the ladder. I don't know what Payne's looking to do, but Jin getting up top. I think Payne might have been waiting for Jin. And what are these two guys doing? He punches him. No, no, no. What's this? No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Oh, my. Ref, check if he's okay. Oh, my God. P Jin actually might win this. A three count. Jin does the sideways neck breaker off the top of the line. Through the end. Uh, not through the announcer table. Sorry, but through. Uh, I'm not through anything on the freaking concrete and I think Payne might have hit a bit of those steps.